Welcome back you guys. Because this is a video for beginners, I thought that working with a dome cap would be very easy. It's easy to use and as well as it's easy to find in local stores. I'm going to be taking hair from AliExpress. I have a pre-plucked frontal. This is in Brazilian body wave and 16 inches along with three additional bundles in body wave. It is very important that when you're sewing down your frontal that you want the frontal to be pushed forward a bit. That way it will fit snug. Make sure you push it further than the dome cap, okay? When making your wigs, it is very important to have pins like what you see right here. I got these pins from, I want to say Michael's, any craft store, any craft section in your local Target, Myers, Walmart, you know, stores like that, you can find these pins. They really help secure your frontal or your wig caps down to your canvas so that it doesn't move because you don't want a lot of shifting. So once you do that, go in and start at one end and really lock in that frontal. Now with the dome cap, you want to make sure that you're sewing through the cap, not through the band. Through the cap, not through the band. Because if you sew through the band, then the cap will not stretch, you guys. This is very important. So what I'm showing you here is I'm going right through the cap. I'm not going through that thick elastic band. And you can feel it if you go through that elastic band. So just make sure that you go through the cap, not the band. That way your cap will stretch and it will fit your head properly. When I'm sewing, I just do the loop and pull. Sometimes I do a knot here and there. But because I like to sew my stitches, I like to stitch very close together, especially when you're dealing with these frontals because you don't want any gaps or buckle, any of those things, you want it to lay pretty flat. So I always just stitch the same way, just as you can see here, keeping everything nice and close, tightly together so that the finish is very flat. To ensure that your frontal will lay flat, Go ahead to the other side and do the same thing. Basically, you're going to just start from where you left off at and just sew all the way to the other side of the frontal and keeping everything nice and flat because there have been times you guys where I've made wigs and I've had lumps I've had really like divots or grooves in my frontals because I have I didn't sew them flat and this is how you're gonna sew them flat you have to keep it flat use your index finger your thumbs to help keep that frontal flat as you sew, that way you won't have that issue. because it looks like it's almost trying to buckle up right in here, you see that? So what I like to do, like I said, I take my hands and I push the hairs back and I use my thumb to lay it flat the entire time while I'm sewing so that it's going to lay down flat. You won't get that buckle if you keep everything tight, keep it flat and it will not buckle up on you. Index finger, pushing the hair back, taking my thumb and pressing it down like that. So that when I go in to sew, it will not buckle on me. So if I were just to go in there and just start sewing, 
and have gaps in between, you will get something like this. You'll get the buckle. We don't want that. Man, if my fingers could really move that fast, you guys, oh my God, that'd be like everything. But continue sewing until you meet the other end. And once you do that, go ahead and knot it off. And when you knot it off a few times, I like to knot mine maybe two or three times just because I'm extra. But you're going to cut away the excess thread. And once you do that, you guys, you can see it's pretty much what you want it to look like. It's pretty flat. I do pre-thread my needles so that I don't have to waste so much time doing that because when I sewed on my front so I use at least two to three needles just so that I can make sure all the sides and it's it's laying down really flat. I don't use the same needle. I don't just use one needle on my frontal. I'm going to double weft and I like to go through my weft when I'm beginning sewing. I like to go through it that way. I lock in both wefts and it's really secure to the cap. Only when I'm starting that first track. This is important again, right at that bottom, that's still the elastic band. You don't wanna go through that. You wanna make sure that you keep everything through the cap and not the band because it will not stretch. And if your band don't stretch, your wig don't fit. That is like the key thing. You can do it however the hell y'all wanna do it, but if y'all sew through, that elastic band in the cap, it's, it's epic fail from the start. So just keep that in mind. This hair is from AliExpress. It is from the Assyria AliExpress vendor. And I have three bundles of Brazilian Body Wave. I'm sewing down the longest bundle right now. I have two 20s and an 18 inch. The frontal is a 16 inch. So starting off with the 20 inch, I'm gonna double with that. The second bundle I'm going to double weft, and once I get closer to the top of the wig, I'm going to start single wefting. And I'll explain that to you guys later on in the video, why I like to single weft towards the top of the wig. Once I begin to fold over, right before I fold over, that last stitch before I'm going to fold the track over, I go through the weft. That way, it lays flat. Because if you don't, then it's, you're going to have that bulky look. So that's a little trick that I like to do right before I flip over that last stitching. I go through the weft, through the cap, tie a knot, and then bring it over so that it lays pretty flat. Don't be afraid to use those pins, you guys. I like to use them because I know that I can't sew in a straight line for the most part. Sometimes it gets a little off track. So having those pins there just help me keep everything in uniformity. So I like to keep everything just a nice, straight, clean guide for me. That way when I'm sewing, it is together. It's together. All right, so this is where we are and I am on the third bundle and I am going to single weft. Why do you single weft here, Jasmine? Why? I single weft here, and you should single weft here because you're, you're at the top of the wig and you want your fullness to be there. You don't want to see any gaps in your, your wefts. You don't want to see any space between the wefts. So if you single weft, basically a traditional way you sew your hair, if you do it one track at a time, you're gonna have the fullness, you won't have any of that gaps, no space, and it just keeps everything nice and together. Also, right at the end, I like to cut away. I don't do the fold over method at the top because that's where the bulk come in. And when it comes time for you guys to part your hair on the side, right in this area, you don't want to see a fold over, a folded weft there. You guys get what I'm saying? You don't want to see that. So I like, and I think you should as well, when you sew that down, snip it, tack down that end, and then go ahead and continue the process. That way, when you're parting your hair throughout your frontal, you won't see that exposed, flipped weft that you did, you know, when you was making your wig. You don't want to see any of that, honestly. So this is just a way I think it would help prevent having that issue.
making sure that that last weft is pretty much on top of that frontal like as close as you can get it so that you don't see the demarcation between the two you want it to blend really well Now we're finished with the wig, you guys. I get this question all the time. Jasmine, why are you cutting off that? Because um, you just have to cut it off, you guys. You don't want excess cap where you don't need it. So cut it off. That way when you part your frontal, it will look like skin and it won't look like cap. Because if you don't part, if you don't cut the cap, then your frontal is going to look like a, a dome cap, okay? So that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions, as always, leave it below. I will give you guys more information on this pre-plucked frontal and what I think about it. Honestly, I have mixed views on it. But stay tuned for the second part of this video. I'll show you guys how I style it. And yeah, thanks so much for joining. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.